Hey, it's Tim Guitar. Today I'm going to review the Coco Mini Distortion Pedal. The Coco Mini Distortion Pedal has three levels of adjustability. A tone knob which controls the amount of high frequency. The gain knob adjusts the amount of distortion. And the level knob controls the level of the signal. This true bypass pedal is powered by a 9 volt power supply which is not included. With three levels of adjustability, you have nearly endless possibilities to unlock some very unique and heavy sounds to no matter what amp or cab you're playing through. So the Coco distortion pedal is installed on the board now. It's the micro pedal here. We'll be playing it through the Jazz Master that I built with Warmoth parts. Uh, so it's a single pickup. It's an EMG81X active pickup and playing it through the Fender PA head behind me with four EL34 tubes. So, let's get started. This is our clean tone and I'm playing in drop C. Here's how it sounds with all the settings at noon. All right, what we'll do now is take each of these and I'm gonna play the bottom strings as I just kind of palm mute and chug along so we can see and hear how the different knobs affect the sound. Here we go. how the distortion pedal sounds uh, as you're moving around all the adjustment knobs has a pretty um, chunky sound once you get it to I've got all the knobs around let's call it uh, three o'clock you know if, if noon is 12 o'clock straight up three o'clock would be to your right um, and I've got all the knobs set there right now I thought it sounded pretty cool if you'd hear it in the video about how that sounded with the chunkiness and palm muting um, and the open strums of the uh, of the open tuning here and C tuning I thought it sounded pretty cool once you start playing you want to be able to hear all that too so now is the time what we do we keep the setting as how we thought we liked it how we thought it sounded um, like chunky and, and clear but we're gonna play it uh, play some songs we're gonna play Slipknot duality now through the cab and actually hear how this sounds um, while you're playing something okay so we're gonna get this thing going <laughs>
Okay, so far it's sounding pretty good. I can hear the harmonics coming out, the pinch harmonics, the palm muting of the um, of the parts of the song. I think it's sounding pretty good where it's at. I've only made a couple of little adjustments here and there. For the most part, the tone knob is at three o'clock. The level is about uh, three to four o'clock, and the gain is about three to four o'clock. Um, I feel like anything less than that isn't as uh, good of sounding or, or distortion or heavy uh, sounding, especially for this song. And with this guitar, I think this is probably one of the better settings for it, especially in a drop tuning. So I'm gonna play a little bit more. I'm gonna click in the MXR 10 band EQ. I usually have that on to cut some of the frequencies um, to get a certain sound that I specifically like when I'm playing and recording. So I'm gonna go ahead and play that again with the EQ on. And we're gonna hear how that sounds together. So here's just the pedal. Okay, and here's with the EQ. So that's it for the Coco distortion pedal. I think it sounds pretty dang good. Um, it sounds a lot like some of the other pedals I have. A really good and low cost uh, pedal to get some pretty massive sound. So it's a tiny little mini pedal, um, but it has a lot of chugging, a lot of heaviness to it. Um, I think it sounds pretty good with this setup this guitar, drop C tuning uh, with the tube amp behind me. And even with the MXR 10 band EQ kicked in, uh, I thought it really brought it to life even that much more. Um, so if you feel like this is a good pedal for you, I think it's not a bad option. It has a lot of good reviews on Amazon. Pretty cool, um, really small pedal, so it'll fit on any board. It's a nine volt power supply, does not come with the pedal but most of you already have extra spots on your one spot or whatever. Um, so not a bad choice compared to some of these other expensive and uh, bigger pedals. Uh, the Coco Distortion may not be a bad one for you to check out. I'm Tim Guitar. I'll talk to you later.